Hello, everybody. My name is Milana. I am a professor at Universidade de São Paulo, Brazil. And this is my second time here in uh, Wolfram Conference. The first time was two years ago. And I'd like to share with you my experience about uh, simulating electric circuits uh, using Wolfram Mathematica and Wolfram Cloud. The motivation for this work is uh, the need to provide exercises for students that are not uh, electrical engineering students. They are not so motivated um, as I am with this subject. In this year, we will not use our lab because of COVID-19, and then we we have one more, one more reason to think about it. Here we have a, a picture of uh, of some relays that we use in our classes, and here we we need we have a exercise that I needed to simulate to automate uh, to. I'd like uh, to provide more variations of circuits and um, and I'd like the students to be able to change the circuits and to use a new kind of circuit and to solve a difficult problem. And some years ago, more than two years ago, uh, I did a first initiative about this using relay secrets and then uh, using uh, Mathematica desktop, I could um, create an interface when students may build uh, their own secret and check if the secret works. In this learning interface, a student can build a comment secret and uh, using these elements below. For example, a relay, a timer, their contacts, which can maybe normally open or normally closed, lamps, and so on. The elements can be moved using locators. Here we can move a, a wire or we can move this relay to it's kind of difficult okay here we use a locator which appearance was modified so they could look like a usual electrical representation can work, they work. After all, they can check if the secret behaves as expected using the operation button. This wire, this wire. Okay. Okay, operation. And then we may, may press this button. Now, the circuit only works if all the connections are done correctly. The code for this interface, for the, this first interface, was kind of long and confusing. And then, since then, I have learned some better practice. For example, I use a true, uh, I, I, I still use graph functions to solve this secret. It's, it's very, uh, the, 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 uh, my, I had to learn how to draw this circuit because I needed, uh, I, uh, this is a graph with uh, vertices and edges 
and the labels for these edges are customized by me. For example, I use a rectangular, a rectangle, a red rectangle, or a bright rectangle to uh, represent a coil, because this is the the graphic representation defined in the standard. Here I use uh, a button with uh, open contact and a button with a closed contact. This is an off button and this is a on button. Uh, but for example, I use a locator here. This is a very useful function. Uh, the problem is it doesn't it doesn't work in Wolfram Cloud. Okay, but in, in desktop, you, it works very well. But my code, my code was, for example, I used uh, uh, lists, ordinary lists, to show my configuration. All this, uh, when I move or I create or I delete some element here, it changes this object here. And here we have the number of the vertex, the vertex, the vertex, for example, and here is the position. So I can draw it, draw here using lines. Where is this vertex? I'd like to put it here. And here the position is written here. And I, for, for example, I use another uh, object, another list to describe the element. If it's a coil, if it's a button, if it's a timer. And I use only uh, the position to show the, the kind of parameter. For example, here we have the vertex because it's the, it's in the first, the, it's the first element of this list. Here we have uh, this this first element pair here is the num the vertex here, the six and seven vertex. Here we have the six, the six and the seven vertex. So I have to remember uh, the position for each parameter. And then the code is huge because the data and the the decisions are in the same place. For example, I, I did not know how to do it using Wolfram language. This is one problem, one big problem. Um, and now, as more functionalities are needed, I decided to do it in a better way. Well, how to do that? I use it, I learned for great lessons. First of all, first of all, I need to use associations and rules. Be before uh, I use it, that kind of lists. And after that, I use that kind of lists. The second one, it's the use of uh, API function in uh, uh, together with the cloud functions, the deploy, put, and get, for example. When I use API function, I, I can use uh, uh, arguments that are mandatory or optional in any order, for example. I may write it into access then in the cloud. I can call it from other programs and even I can share it with another users. So if if you want, if, if I give uh, a, a specific user or for everybody in the world access to my API functions, there's no problem. They only, you only need to use cloud get in the correct path for um, for my API function in Wolfram Cloud. Uh, we have here another API function that I created that uh, has a lot of arguments. Some of them are mandatory. For example, here, uh, vertices are 
uh, mandatory because I need to 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 know the vertices. Uh, uh, description, okay, it's still it's also man mandatory, but uh, ID, delay, and edge on they are optional because here I have the type, and then if the after the type we have the default value. If there's no ID, I will put uh, uh, double quotes. Uh, instead, so my code will not fail. Delay. If I don't, uh, if I don't uh, tell the delay, the delay is zero. And then after the the code, I also had deployed it. So if you if you use this, uh, the the complete path here, I I need to pass. Uh, my login name and then after that we, you can access it uh, the third lesson that i learned was a new set of functions uh, named ask ask function ask display ask the plate and so on they are very easy to use and with them we can build a conversational interface. So, a user uh, should only access the, uh, the, uh, the address. For example, here, if you access this address, uh, uh, this interface uses this function, and there's a question in Portuguese. So, you can, you uh, must only you should only uh, uh, browse for a specific file and submit this file and see what happened you don't need uh, to log in in Wolfram Cloud for example so it's very useful and people may use this interface without knowing it's a Wolfram Cloud interface um, the the problem, the the last lesson that I have learned, is uh, to face the restriction about the use of dynamic functionalities. Um, the dynamic functionalities are not completely implemented yet, so in this case, I use it a simple test file. Uh, where the secret is drawn using uh, characters as dots and lines. I'd like to show you these two interfaces. Interfaces. We just need to use this address here in my web browser. Here yeah, we have this interface. So I didn't need, I did not need to use my Wolfram login. You can check by yourselves. Uh, uh, here uh, we need to browse for the text file that describes my secret. I will show you how this secret is is built. We have the draw that I uh, did using Notepad, Notepad++, for example. And here we have a line, there's a wire here, and the crossing, in the crossings of the horizontal and vertical lines, we have a, a, a terminal. We have here a terminal, and here, and here, and here, and the text describes some kind of elements. Here we have the, the contact, a normally open contact, and its ID is D1. Here we have a normally closed button. Its name is DR. Turn off the register, for example. So if we use this 
file here. We have this, the same, uh, we have this file, and then we use submit. Okay, so this, the secret is drawn here. It is uh, created using graph functions. So this dot here, they are vertices. And if I use a graph function here, I uh, could, I can, um, I can see which part of the secret is energized, for example. But uh, this interface is not finished yet because I will have to study more to show how uh, I can interact with these uh, edges here. I know how to do it using Wolfram Desktop, but I need to know how to do it using Wolfram Cloud because dynamic functionalities are not yet implemented for, for Cloud. The second one is another interface, and that one is already, it's, it's functional. It's not finished yet because I use it a single method for secret analysis. But this method is, is, uh, is totally implemented. So I use it here. This use this address. Now it's resolution circuitus, circuit and uh, circuit solving, for example. And then I can use uh, a, a new circuit or a preset circuit. I use a, a preset one. We have four examples for circuits here. I will choose the 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 secret number four for example it's more complicated i use it here i use uh, ask functions also to put this combo here this uh, display here and the submit is automatically created and i use ask function so the students can use this interface to check if their solutions about this current, about the current from uh, one to eight, if the solving steps are correct, we don't need only we don't need to only show the, the value. We we uh, we show uh, the construction for the linear system. So, if I use submit here. And then, uh, if some if some student uh, detects some mistakes, they can email me. And then we have the description for each loop. Here we have four loops, so they are described here using the numbers for the terminals: one, three, three, four, four, two, one, three, three, four, four, two. So, in this case, we have eight currents, so we have eight equations. And after solving that, we get the values. So, uh, students can check their solutions. Well, I'd like to thank you for your attention.